Today's episode, you join me heading into Cork Harbour on what seemed like a good day for photography. But I knew I was going to have some challenges because the location that I wanted to shoot, I had to shoot directly into the sun. And I should have known better. But can I deal in this circumstances with harsh light? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in Cork Harbour and I'm at a place called Roaches Point and it's a beautiful place to come and take some photographs. As I just arrived there a moment ago, I got caught out in an unmerciful shower, so I had to take a quick run back to the car after I recorded a time-lapse of one of the cargo ships leaving the harbour. And what I'm here to do today is to get some shots here of this lovely little beach area that we have, but with Roaches Point Lighthouse as well in the distance. It's a very, very stormy and moody sky today, so I'm hoping that I get some nice light and I get some nice shots as well. I'm going to try and do some long exposures as well to try and bring out some of the detail that we have here along these rocks. And there's some lovely positionings as well of these rocks that would lead right up as far as the lighthouse. So that's what we're going to do today in Roaches Point in Cork Harbour. So what am I doing right now for my first shot is I've set up right below me here and I'm using this rock that's leading out to the coast and on the, above, on the left hand side then I will have Roaches Point Lighthouse. Now it's still quite bright, there's actually a gap in the clouds after that storm had uh, rolled over so what I've done is I've put on a number of different filters actually. I've put on my 10 stop filter because I want to do a very long exposure and I've also put on as well a graduated filter just to control the brightness that's within that sky because I don't want to lose any of the highlights because if you lose the highlights it's gone you can recover the shadows but if you lose the highlights then it's gone within the image so I'm playing here just to do a couple of different exposure times I'm probably going to get up around 25 seconds I would think um, even with that bright light that's there and with that shot then you'll get a smoothness of the water static element being the rocks and obviously the lighthouse in the background and I might get some movement as well in that sky depending on how fast those clouds as well are going it's a first shot anyway here there's a couple of um seashells as well that i might try and play around with as well getting lower uh, to the ground but let's see how the shot in here works out first and then i'll play around with those after that second shot I've taken now here is I've come down next to the water's edge and there's a stone here on the left hand side which I'm using as a bit of an anchor in the shot. There's some seaweed as well that's washing up here on the shore and I've gone from a long exposure once more um, with the lighthouse in the top left hand corner of the frame and the sun is still kind of coming through those clouds but it does, does look like it's going to dip in behind now so I won't have to deal with those um, harsh highlights in a moment so I better take off my big stopper and go for a slightly faster uh, exposure anyway but definitely uh, a nice photograph I do think you know because with the long exposure it smooths out all of that water and you get an ethereal look and feel in relation to it it might be a challenge to process it later because the way that the sun is so bright but I'll endeavor to try and get what I can anyway out of the image anyway from this location for my second shot here for today now what I'm going to do in a moment is there's a bit of a jetty over here and I'm going to go over to that now uh, and get a shot of that because there's some nice green algae that's on that as well and hopefully I'll be able to get a nice long exposure shot from that which will be the last long exposure shot that I'll take and then like I say I'll have that cloud 
covering the sun, so I'll be able to tend to just use my ND uh, grads, uh, my grad NDs actually, as opposed to my full ND. So yeah, show you my second shot now, and we'll head over there and we'll get the third shot. So the tide has come in a bit too far now and it's actually taking away the green algae that I spotted earlier when I first arrived so I'm actually going to miss out on that shot but still think nonetheless here I'm going to get a shot in a moment because you've got a ferry now that's leaving um, so I'll try and get a photograph of that I'll quickly switch out and I'll get on my uh, long lens and hopefully that'll be able to get a shot then as the ferry as it passes by the uh, lighthouse so I'll quickly change out here and we'll grab this shot. As you saw there the ferry coming past i managed to change out my lens quick enough to get a couple of shots anyway handheld as it was leaving i think it might be nice actually here because the sky the sun is over to the right hand side of the frame so i didn't have to deal with those highlights and i think i managed to get a nice shot of the ferry like i say as it passes behind Fortress point lighthouse the harbor here in cork is the third largest natural harbor in the world so it's quite a busy port from a lot of different types of ships that will come in and out so it's good that i was here for when that was leaving now i had no idea the times but it's good to kind of have that i suppose within the frame also now the sun as you can see here uh, like i say is dipping behind those clouds so hopefully it'll allow me to be able to get a normal shot not to say in relation to having to uh, control the highlights so much but yeah i'm going to Go just to the left hand side here now and try and frame a shot up uh, with the lighthouse as well and a bit of the cove that's here as well below me so that'll be the next shot here we'll just head over to this spot and yeah we'll get the shot from there Another advantage now that I encountered with that ferry going out is that the wake waves were coming in and they broke here nicely actually just as I arrived with the camera to get a couple of shots here and I have framed my photograph with two rocks that are below me here and they're leading straight up towards the lighthouse. Now that sky as well is actually getting rather nice. There's some nice light being diffused on the hillside there on the, on the distance and streaming down from the clouds above. At the moment now I'm getting a relatively fast uh, shutter speed. I'm at 1 15th of a second and that's allowing me to be able to kind of capture the movement that's in the water, contain the light that's in the sky as well and also the drama that I see in that sky also. Now on the distance here like I said there's some beautiful light uh, so what I might do now again is swap out to my long lens, zoom over to that here and get underneath the sun and try and capture some of that light before it's gone as it's streaming over here onto the hillsides in the distance but yeah another interesting shot here again probably 30 or 40 feet there from where I had my first shot but a beautiful spot like I said and the light now is making all the difference as well to today's shoot. think actually this could be a nice shot here so I was going to head over here towards the rocks to get a kind of a shot with the sweeping of the bank but where I'm stood right here there's some interesting jagged rocks that are below me you can frame the lighthouse as well now that sun is coming back out again so 
it's making it quite harsh so I may have to put back on my 10 stop but yeah I'm going to stop here I think I'm going to get a shot I'm going to try and make something from this anyway because I think it is a nice scene looking into the back of the camera the challenge now obviously is to be able to control the light light now is extremely harsh it's coming right in on top of me so there's a gap in those clouds and it's making it quite difficult actually to be able to take the shot but what it is doing as well is it's lighting up the foreground and also the headland as well on the side of me here so I do think that it's going to be a nice shot what I've managed to do actually to be able to control that light is to turn the graduated ND at a slight angle to be able to control the brightest part of the sky and that with this shot here and I'm going for an f16 as well to be able to get that and turn that to my advantage and use that sun for a bit of a sun star and I'm also at uh, one tenth of a second and I put my ISO down to 50 so really trying to control the light as much as I possibly can today so I think this shot is probably going to be my last shot for today um, I'm not going to go far though because I do want to go up onto the headland actually behind me and stay here for sunset because looking at this sky I think it will really kick off at sunset so I'm going to go up behind me I'm going to go across on the hills and I'm going to have this lighthouse as well then with a big vast open sky because I really do think it's going to be a big sky for sunset for this evening so I'm going to finish up like I said thank you very much for joining me on this episode hope you've enjoyed coming along on this quick trip to Cork Harbour if it's your first time on the channel please do hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time which will be up on the hill but for you next week Schlange Fall.